Hi everybody and welcome to my October wrap up. I haven't managed to read as many books as I wanted to. I'm still currently reading, well rereading, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. So I'll get there, I'll read that and then I'll move on to my TBR for next month which will be coming up soon. So let's get right into it. So I've read Insurgent by Veronica Roth and I really really enjoyed it. Compared to the movies, the Divergent movies so far, I have much preferred the books. Even though I find that Divergent stuck to the plot quite well, Insurgent didn't. There's so much more in Insurgent than there was in the film. And as I always say anyway, books are much better than films. You always want them to do more and this, that and the other different, but it's always good to have the film there as well. But with Insurgent, didn't really see much point because they were nothing alike and the plot just diverted a little bit and they changed a lot. But that is nothing compared to this one right here which I've also read. Because I went to the cinema and watched the film before I read The Scorch Trials by Dame James Dashner. And I'm so glad I did or else I would have just been shouting through the entire movie. Um, because what what is there in the movie pretty much at all? It's in this book. It's absolutely nothing. Like this is completely totally different. And I mean the plot isn't I mean they didn't even have the Scorch Trials in the movie. So I'm just so angry at that. I mean they kind of changed it to say this is the Scorch Trials, you're gonna go escape and stuff. But if I watched that movie and read this book, I wouldn't have said they were the same thing. I wouldn't even said that they were from the same series because it was just so different and I, I hate it when people do that and yes I probably will go and watch the next movie or watch it at home when it comes out on DVD or whatever but it just really wound me up I mean the Scorch Trials did not happen in the movie the Scorch Trials are what has been set up for them whereas in the film they try and escape that's the Scorch Trials apparently no no, don't know what went on there. So yeah, I really really enjoyed the book even though it confused me all the way through because I'd already watched the movie. But what can you do about that, eh? Nothing really. So another thing I read was The Red Queen and that is by Victoria Ave Aveyard. And I really 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 enjoyed this book. I loved it. The main character in this, she basically has no idea that reds or the reds which are the lower class people basically slaves in this book they can't have powers under their belief system that only the silvers can have this, these magical abilities and the reds have got red blood and the silvers have got silver blood and yeah the main character what's her name? Mar I say Mar, it could be Mare, I'm not sure Mar um, actually does have abilities and she's found out and so the Silvers just kind of hide her in plain sight and the Silvers like the elite class kind of system. They kind of hide her and make her into this long lost princess that was brought up by Reds. So yeah I really enjoyed it. I was not expecting the ending and it's one of those endings where you think that all the characters are just gonna die. It, it held me and it gripped me and I just had to finish by the time I got to a certain part. Which happens in most books but like this really gripped me so I would say, you know, read it because it's just really good. The final book I've read this month, apart from Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, which I'm still getting through um, again, and that is The Isle of the Lost by Melissa de la Cruz. And I probably would have enjoyed this book a million times more if I was like 10 again, or like in those teenage years, because it's one of those books I would have loved back then, like I, it, it kind of reminded me of Enid Blyton a little bit, so yeah it's gonna, like the Disney movie that's coming from this is kind of gonna carry on from this I think. I had to read it first so I could watch a Disney movie obviously. I enjoyed it, it just wasn't something that I would read now, even though I did. I had to finish the book but it just kind of took me back to childhood and something I would have read back then so 
If I was to give myself a book, like give my younger self a book, it would be this because she really would have enjoyed it. So yeah, it kind of makes me reminisce about my childhood and things I would have liked back then, so yeah. So thank you for watching my uh, wrap up for the month of October. I'm saying it right this time because in my last video I said September for some strange reason. Yeah, so thank you for watching. Comment below anything you want. I would love to talk about these books to you. Also, subscribe to see more videos because I will be making more and more. And yeah, I hope you enjoy and I will see you next time. Bye!